Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Software Inc. where we continue our journey in creating the greatest software company or tech company at this point the world has ever seen. Last episode, we tried to build our very own printing area, which I got very, very frustrated with. I've since figured it out. You guys told me how to do it in the comment section and I'm going to try and attempt to implement that system right now. But also, at this moment in time, we are currently creating our very own operating system. We're 80% of the way done with the art right now, 28 with the code inside of it right now, and we're going to continue our journey. Photoshop 3 is pretty much dwindling in sales. I think we're, we're dumping about 20 grand a month in marketing. It's kind of reached its maximum. We can't really take it any further right now, so we're just going to kind of wing it out until we release Windows, our own operating system. So as always, guys, if you are enjoying the series, want to see more, then make sure you smash the like button down below. If you're under in here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when the next episode does come out. Now, last episode, we got robbed. Like, I mean, we've been robbed a few times in the game, but last one was the was a huge one. It was absolutely huge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the ability and uh, to hire my own security guards. So we're going to go to manage staff. Now, we currently have... Uh, a bunch of couriers all kind of designated to kind of come in whenever. At the minute, why can't I, why can't I dismiss that one? Is it because he's currently here? Hang on, hold on, hold on. If I fast forward, he finishes at twelve. Okay, he's gone. He's gone. Um, we don't need the couriers just yet because we're not really printing or selling anything right now, so it doesn't really matter. Now to hire a security dude. Uh, they're going to cost us 1500 a month. That's almost like having a really, really weak employee. But the downside is they only work a certain hours of the day, which is a shame, really. But they've got to go home to their loved ones. <laughs> I am now going to set it up where we are going to have uh, free security guards that literally span throughout the whole duration um, of the day. So we always have at least one security guard on the go. Now, I'm not sure if that means they then have their own room. I'm sure it sends me like a uh, security desk, a, uh, place strategically for best results. I don't know what this means. Like, do I create like a security checkpoint? Is, is, is that what I do? I'm going to place it there and just kind of see what happens. It's just kind of interesting to throw it out there, to say the least. Now, I won't mess about with this until we're ready to start printing, but let's fast forward anyway. So, my security guards won't come in until the next month. We want to put as much effort and time in as we can right now uh, to get in this Windows operating system all underway. So, there we go. You can now see we got our security guard just chilling. It does then mean we have to kind of, you know, simulate this part of the day where no one's here. But maybe that's where I create a night team that comes in. At night, nah, that's just, that's just hiring too many employees than I actually need. Right, security guards here right now, they kind of crisscrossed. Also, look at the amount of dirt that they've kind of worn out of the grass. I do need to build some path, don't I? Yeah. Uh, we're starting to get a lot of employees um, complaining about the noise, which I still don't get. But what I'm going to do very quickly is office. Where's those kind of dividers? We can get like a little divider and I wonder if that would kind of help some of these employees. Where is that divider? Um, uh, is this it here? A oh, cubicle wall, that's what it's called. So if I went one, two, three, like that. I mean, I don't know how much this is going to help them. But they seem to be always complaining in this room. And it's this person here likes to complain. Where are they? There they are. So I wonder if they'll continue to complain. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Now, we will also... Let's get rid of all of these right now. I'm thinking of also setting up or kind of hiring our very own chef who can cook delicious meals for all of our employees. Oh, no. Someone wants to be educated right now. Programming. We'll educate you on the audio side. Why not? Why not? So, and oh, we got a computer there not really working too well. So I'm going to call maintenance, call IT support. They'll just come in, fix up, off they go. But I'm going to hire a cook who comes in in the mornings as well. Cooks up a storm for everybody, puts it in the little bowls, as you can now see. And then they'll just help themselves uh, when they need it, which will really boost their hunger 
uh, needs, so they don't, you know, they'll be more satisfied for longer, basically. What's this issue right now? A couple of people called in sick. Okay, fine. Now, how much are we losing anyway a month? We're losing, okay, not much considering, which is interesting. Not much considering. So, nine employees went, oh my god, nine employees went on vacation. Damn, boy, there's a lot of employees right now. Uh, also, right, it's taken a while to do the marketing on this kind of uh, Windows right now. And if I can remember, we only have two employees in the marketing team. So I'm going to hire a few more. Services, marketing, begin lucky. And we need the compatibility for the market team. So great. Right, we'll get we got one, two, three. We've hired three additional marketers. Uh, I've got so many employees right now. I don't know how I feel about having all these employees. Your boy Matty can now be educated. We'll all educate him on the 3D side of things. So, oh my goodness me. I missed that. But the burglars who came in went home empty-handed because of our security guard right now. Stephanie Kennan. She means business, boys. So, I take it this this means nothing then, that desk. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know what real life is. But they come in, they go home. Uh, Ten employees went on vacation this month round. Interesting. Interesting. So, we're almost 100% done with the art. We're 44% done with the coding aspect of it right now. A couple of bugs that our support team needs to get out. And it makes no difference with our marketing team because everybody just went on vacation. So I'm not getting the full force right now of five marketeers doing what they've got to do. Right, we got another issue. Uh, oh, somebody else is having noise complaints. And it's in this room. So I wonder if it is down to these cubicle wall stuffs anyway. Right. Um, let me select all the ones in this room. And then low-key just like duplicate them. I should be able to place them in there. Now, does it work the same in here? Not really, because it's flipped, right? Um, Because it would have to go here. <laughs> and the other ones aren't really positioned correctly. But we'll do it as people complain. Because maybe not everyone is going to complain. You never know. But anyway, they're all going home for the day. Oh, somebody else to educate. We now have Jarvis. Oh, they've been... Uh, is it? Oh, no. Do we have two Jarvises? Because we have one that's been with us from almost day one, haven't we? Um, so, programming side, then. We'll just go system for you. And um, let's keep it going. So, next month, <clears throat> as they all come in, we might get the 100%, that lucrative 100% uh, on the art which we now have done so now everyone is going to be focusing on doing the coding side which we're 48 can we get to 50 percent by the day's end there we go so not bad not bad not bad and two more employees can be educated so education it's best to click on this tab because i can see everybody oh it's programmers which is perfect not actual programmers but we'll take it anyway so specialization system apparently is it oh no is this what i can start the education on Okay, I've clicked on that. I don't know if that was the right thing or not. Uh, education. We'll go... We'll go network. Yeah, why not? Why not? So, fast forward then. Do you think I'm always going to have to need a... IT and support dude on hand every morning? Hmm. I have a cleaner who comes in and cleans. I might as well hire a maintenance and an IT person. So maintenance and IT. Oh no, I've got two maintenance. I've got two IT. I've already got them. Oh, am I just stupid? Yeah, I think I am. I'll make them come in quite early in the morning. Before everyone arrives. Uh, go back. There we go. Just so they get everything all spick and span. Before everyone gets here. That would probably be like the best idea. And do you reckon I should hire a receptionist as well? Because then we can pretty much... Jarvis could run a vacation. Uh, start doing contract work. Like like good deal contract work. Maybe I can do some printing work. 
Hmm. I can do the printing work from this though, can't I? Con I mean, the... What is it that they, they cut? It's deals, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Actually, before I do that, we'll, I think we'll play around with um, the printing aspect. <clears throat> and see if we can make some money from doing some printing deals. I think that might be like the way to go forward, right? So, we still got a long way to go with our operating system. There's no ifs, no buts, there's no donuts surrounding this malarkey. It is what it is. It's going to take some time. So, while that kind of happens in the background, maybe I can get the distribution set up for the printing uh, correctly where it all falls in the crates and then i can then start doing some contract work that leads to the distribution side of things i mean would make sense we can get a lot more stuff done at that point so that will be interesting education right now it's all to do with programming so we'll go system for you so and we'll go we'll go system for you educate it's all programming, because that's really the only kind of um, experience they're gaining right now, because that is technically the only job currently available. So, we'll go we'll go 2D for a change there. Right, let me get this all up and running. I'm actually going to select... Can I select all furniture? Alright, it doesn't matter now. I'm going to do it this way. Uh, select all. Delete. And I think I'm going to reposition this. So move you. I'm just going to put it there for now because I've got to figure out the best way to go about doing this. Uh, right, so quickly enter build mode. If I quickly select this and then... Oh, I'll put it in my inventory. I don't know why I did that. Uh, the crate system, because you, you kind of need it set up where... P oh, okay. So, oh, I need to view the lights. Right, these lights are going to be in the way apparently, <laughs> so I've got to delete them. Yeah, so you need it set up where they can also access the cr these pallets. So if I do a row here, just bear with me on this. And then if I set up our conveyor belts. Now I wonder if, right, I can then do that. Right, and then do that like that do that like that so it comes down and round in this way if i obviously have that one there and that one there no i don't know if this is going to work oh no it's not going to work because these guys need to be able to access this right i might have to extend because they need to walk up here to access these crates if i extended by extended by one more ah that will work Right, okay, so extend by one more. Select these two rooms and then merge. And then with the furnishing objects. Oh, that's another point. Then I have to do like a ramp to, for them to get over, right? Oh, how's that going to work? Oh, no, I can just literally do this and... Oh, no, that's a conveyor ramp. I delete that. Well, isn't there a way to, for people to walk over, or is it just me? Pallet pickup point. I thought there was a way that you can make people walk over. But apparently people need to access this. I don't know why. All right, spend lots of money there. So it can't be accessed by staff. But I could... Delete them. But I still don't have an access point. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I mean, I could do a door where they could walk in. That's not a problem. Well, I, 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 I literally thought that this... I ain't going to lie to you right now, guys. But I literally thought that this was a step over. Oh, better idea. Delete you. Alright. Sell you. Sell you. Right, I'm going to sell you just for the sake of it. But if I put on this one, and then... 
Right, I gotta do the walls right now. I gotta quickly just delete these. Nope, gotta delete these as well. Right, I figured it out. So I'm gonna do that conveyor system ramp. So if I did it like this. They can then access it. I just think I do this one in the air. Oh, hang on, that light's in the way. So the boxes go up and over. They can access down that side, which could mean I can then bring it this way, that way, and then add more printers on. So then all I've got to do is add this to these, right? So I then have more storage available. I mean, it's really funky, don't get me wrong, but I have more storage available. That's the main thing. Uh, can I also do sidewalk, build a path, smooth, blocky? There we go. I built a path at the front of the, the building. They can stop walking in all their dirt. Right, this should go very well for us. Oh, we get to educate an actual programmer right now. So, we'll go 3D. That was Janice. Oh, Jarvis and Janice. I think that's why I'm getting confused with the names right now. So, I got a proper printing setup, which I'm hoping is going to work. A couple of peeps have called in sick by the looks of it. Uh, so if I accept some contract work, and if I filter it via, oh, can you not filter it via printing? Oh, is that what the receptionist jobs are for the deals? Ah, let's hire a receptionist. There we go. So let's see what this next, this next day is going to bring us, guys. I'm quite excited. So lost lots of money because I spent lots of money. So there's a PC broke, but someone's going to come in and fix it anyway. Right, in they come. So I just, oh, there we go. I got some deals. So a print job for, okay, let me pause. Amount of copies, they want 200,000. Now, I have the printing capabilities to do 200,000 in a month. I'm going to accept this. I'll get $40 per copy by the looks of it. So if I accept it, right, that should be then good to go. I ain't got to do anything else, right? And then I should start to see it printing. So I think it prints every hour. There we go. Drops it all there. Obviously, I'm going to need a courier, but I need to make sure... I need to make sure that it all goes in. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, I, okay. Right. I get this. So if it backlogs the conveyor like it's done now, it can't go any further. It will then fill up that. And then once it gets to there, it will fill up that. Okay. Now I understand it. Now I understand it. So this, the, all these boxes should drop into here. Makes sense. And if it backlogs to there, it will go into there. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm going to need... On, let me just educate this person here. Educate you. Uh, 3D, why not? Uh, I'm going to need a... Hire my own couriers again. So if I hire... I'm going to hire two again. So one on the the early morning starts at four, finishes at eight. And the next one starts at two, finishes at six. They only work four hours. So you won't see them. I don't know if they come in today or whether they... Uh, no, okay, so they come in the next day. So we should have lots of copies ready to go. I should have, like, technically have the full amount. 
But we've got till May uh, 93 to get that done. Right, I'm going to make sure I drop. I, I can't, like, not give them all, can I? Select all. Oh, that's better. Right, at 86%. Yes, I've only raised the whole staff wages by three grand. So here comes the day then. My courier should be here. There we go. Picking up all the stuff. And then once they pick it up, they go inside and grab it. Can they not walk under there? Do they choose not to? Interesting. Now this deal so far, I don't know... How many we've, we've dropped off? The go Oh, in storage, the goal. Okay, so I've printed all the copies I need. It's now just down to my couriers to come and collect it. Uh, a visitor looking to strike a deal. Your company went home due to the condition of your waiting room. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so that's going to be done pretty easy. This one here wants 121,000. I can accept that. I don't actually know how much money I'm going to get from these. Like, in total, once they've all paid out. I'm going to need to hire a lot more couriers. So if I start a courier at, at midnight, next one comes in at four. One, two, three. Right, I've got lots of couriers right now. So midnight to four, then eight to twelve, and then twelve to sixteen, then sixteen to twenty. So we're going to have to wait till the next day, obviously. So we must play the waiting game. Lots of boxes now waiting. Uh, we got someone now to educate. We'll have a level 3 system employee then. Nice. So here we go. And the next day then, where we're, they should consistently start getting rid of boxes. Lots of boxes that will get distributed. It would be pretty much evenly as well. I think it would actually take the dock 10 months first because the way that they're set up on the conveyor system. So, for you know, consistently throughout the day, we should have the courier collecting stuff. Getting rid of it. There we go. Oh, I failed an inspection. Yeah, I forgot that I've got to sort out those, inspe those um, inspection stuffs. Right, it's taken some from the crates as well. We should have done some big dense into this right now so the goal remaining to be delivered so we're almost there i mean i could get multiple um couriers but we spread it nicely throughout the day you do a nice even kind of run with it so not quite finished any of them just yet that's fine but it all should get done in this next month So here they go right now, grabbing the last few boxes. So we should have technically done that. Oh no, okay, we got 4,000 remaining still. So, but looks like they, they almost take like 10,000 at a time. So I'm just waiting for them to kind of finish up this one at the bottom. Oh, there we go. An extra 201 boxes. Right, that's done. They're both then done. They're both then done. So them deals are completed. So how do we find out how we made money off that? Would it be at the end of this month they then, they then pretty much pay me out? Is that how it then works? Oh no, the deal money is here. So do I get paid based on how many boxes I shift that month? Hmm. So deals then. We've still got a lot of deals. I can filter it via printing. Because at the moment... That's really all I've got going for me in terms of deals is the printing side of it. So that will enable me to make a couple of extra pennies, wouldn't it? Right, interesting. Okay. So we got that side set up then, which is no, not really any additional work from me. Now, what have I just completed then? Claim the reward. High reception, accept the deal. Pleasure reception desk. Done it. What are you going to give me? Ooh. That will increase the... Uh, the waiting room stuff <laughs> that people hate about so far. <laughs> They're haters, boys. They're haters. Right. Good stuff. So I found that inspection, didn't I? I need a lot of stuff. 
Right, I'll sort that out in just a moment. Um, I'm going to end the marketing in Photoshop free so my marketers can focus on marketing windows. That's what I'm going to do right now. We'll keep the support open for Photoshop free anyway. And let's take a look at where I'm failing. So nine fire alarm violations. You need to have fire alarms in each room above 10. Okay, right. I need to have, I mean, it's, it's a shame you can't just go, bam, place them all in. So fire alarms. Where are these items? Where are these items? Function, security, fire alarm. Okay. So, question is then, where am I going to place these alarms? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I take it I'm going to need them in these rooms. And I'll probably need one in here, right? What else do I need, sorry? Sprinklers. Okay. Where, though? Where would I need sprinklers? Three. Four. Alright, definitely gonna need sprinklers in here. I'll place two. And then up here. I don't know about any other room. I'll wait for the next kind of report to come through. And see where we're at with all that. We'll see where we're at. Um, right, so. Where are we in the game anyway? What's going on? So we're 75% on the coding right now. The 3D is doing pretty well. We're kind of slacking on the 2D in reality, which is interesting. So I feel like I've trained a lot of people to be good on the old 2D side of things. So we're ultimately now right then is just pretty much grinding it out, waiting until we get a deal. And the deal that should come up is printing. So I'll accept that. They'll then start printing for me. So we should start to see the boxes coming in. The couriers will then slowly start to take those boxes away. I don't have couriers throughout the whole day. I think they all go home about 8 p.m. So, yeah, they just kind of disappear. So skip a little bit further ahead. Not by too much, though, because we have security guards always here. But the courier is now going to start getting rid of some of those boxes. And we should have earned some a little bit of revenue from the print from those deals anyway, which is good to see. So it really reduces how much I'm losing a month, and that's like the one of the main things. That is like legit one of the main things. I actually might complete that today as well. So that deal, or is the distribution? Is there still more? There we go. That 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 deal is now done. So fifty-seven thousand on the day, not bad. So educate some employees then. We're gonna go. Oh, three D. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna go three D. Just so I can make you a level three three D. <laughs> that made no sense. Uh, level three system. Level three system. Considering that they're meant to be a designer, that's mental. That really is. So next month hopefully we're 83 percent on the code right now 83 percent and we're still waiting for our press release to get done too so the cleaners cleaning up we're waiting for the odd printing deal to come in I want to see what this day ends on when it comes to the coding. Because it might be time, right, that we look towards announcing a release date and doing a press build. So education on the coding. This is a, another coder. We'll go level three on the audio, which will be really, really handy. So once, I think the 3D is pretty much all done anyway, right? Because then they'll focus their tasks in other areas, which what makes things move along a lot quicker. 
So four employees called in sick. All right, 4 a.m. in the morning is when our cleaners and maintenance and IT kind of arrive. No, our cleaner comes in at 8, don't they? <clears throat> yeah. So we'll get this month out of the way. we got another deal, boys. Another printing deal, I assume. 184,000. Accept that. Am I now starting to get a reputation in the printing game? Normally it shows... Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, no, that's just market recognition. Still a five-star company, though, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, after this month, then, we're going to announce a release date. The month after, I'll do a press build. And then we'll pump it into beta and slowly start to get rid of some of the bugs. So try and skip as much as I can. It ain't really going to do much. Ah, uh, these are the months where people go on vacation, so this might not be the perfect time. Burglars were looting our premises. They went home empty-handed. Good job, security guard. Got him. Got him right now. See, I was going to do this month for it, but seeing as that everyone's gone on vacation, I might have to wait another month or two. Until everyone's back in. So, employee complaining about the noise. The noise in the kitchen? Get out of here, boy. Oh, we got another deal, guys. We got another deal. Another printing one. 500,000 copies. That's our biggest printing deal to date. So it does make us a couple of pennies, which is really good. You can't complain with that. Not quite enough to make us a profit, but it's enough to kind of keep us ticking along and going. Pays a couple of the bills, right? Pays a couple of the bills. Do you know what? This next month, I'm going to do it. I am going to announce a release date. So skip. It only skips by a couple of hours, not by much. There we go. 14 employees went on vacation. Uh, I'm going to set up a review. So we're going to outsource it, add it all in. 30 grand it's going to cost me. I'm going to mark it and announce a release date. So it's going to be August 93. I'm going to say August 94. All right. Which will give me 11 months to release this. So I've announced it. We'll see what they say. And we're going to see what the reviews say as well. The reviews should be pretty good. It's an 8.8 .8 on average. So the code is great. Creativity not too good. Like iterations could improve it. But I don't want to push it any further right now. I'm happy with these 9s and a couple of 8s. We've still got programming to kind of throw in. So you can only get better from here. It can only get better from this point right now. I might need to hire a second cleaner. So manage staff. If our cleaner came in at, say, 5, hire another cleaner then to come in at 1. Spread it out evenly so the office is always kind of nice and clean. Yeah. That's how we'll do it, boys. That's how we'll do it right now. So the next following month, we should then see... That press, uh, well, I won't say a press release, would I? I mean, no. It's just an announce. You don't really get any hype from it, do you, really? So, everyone should be coming in this day. We're going to do a press build. See what the press say on the next month. And as much as we're trying to get this done, I can't take it any further because I don't think anyone's educated on the marketing team to do the pictures and video. I don't think anyone on our marketing team... Can I view the employees? Is... How do I view... their other stuff? That's what I want to view, this, the service side. No one's good enough to kind of do photos or videos, so I'm not really taking that any further than what it is. I could hire like a really good marketer, which would mean I need to do high. Begin looking. Compatibility, good. They are a level three marketer, so this one person alone could push that marketing to the next level. I should have really looked at that before I went any further. Yeah. 
All right, we'll see what happens anyway. I'm always to see what happens with this press build on the next month. All right, we're still doing the distribution right now. 40,000 units still to go, which they should be do done the next day. Boom, here we go. So that press releases has come out. We got our hands on Windows from Fools Inc. It might be worth your time. The target demographic doesn't really know who Fools Inc. is. We haven't really heard about Windows. It looks amazing. Has all the new features. Should release in August of 94. So that, you could say, is quite positive. It's built up 20-odd followers right now. Not bad, not bad. This month now, we're going to have that new employee who can do pictures and video, but that's not to say that they're going to be able to tear through this that much. So there we go. You now start to see we're spending money. The video is now going up, which is actually quite exciting. So that one employee is probably going to have to do the rest of all of this, which is even more hilarious. Right, another print job. Quarter of a million copies. We're all over it. And we have an employee to educate. Boo. So, programming side then, educate you. And we'll go. Hmm. I'll go network. Yeah. We'll go network. So, keep it rolling. Keep it rocking. Keep it a moving. And we're going to see. Hang on, how many employees do I have in that team? I have six. I might get rid of a couple. Hold on, manage teams, employees. What's the pay difference? Okay. I might just kind of fire all of these. I'm so sorry, guys. Now, you should be my free star, which you are. Hire employees, begin looking. Uh, compatibility, great. Hire. Hire. Good. There we go. Because the marketing is going to be very important for us. So this next month, we should have a bunch of them highly educated, highly trained to be absolute demons when it comes to the marketing side. So we'll wait to see what this then does for us. We've got 75 followers at the moment too. Oh, look at that. They're now blitzing through this press release. Look at how quick the video is now climbing. And then they'll go straight into pictures. Okay, we'll release this press release when it's like fully done. I don't mind if I lose some follow. Oh, I might actually get it done this month. Oh, it just fell a little bit too short. Also, I've got some deals too. So that is for over a quarter of a million. Okay, I'm going to accept both of these. I'm feeling that confident. I'm feeling that confident. I'm going to have to put this into uh, and promote it soon into beta to start getting some bugs out. But I'm going to really hold out for that press release right now. So select all. On average, we're going to increase it by 85. There we go. Oh, I should have put accept all and close and then find out what how much I'm actually increasing it by. Oh, there you go. You win some, you lose some, boys. You win some, you lose some. So all the employees are now in. We can now release this. Do I release it now? Am I losing followers yet? You know, there's no time like the present. Release. So the press release is saying then, Fools Inc. announces Windows. Uh, send a press release about it. The time I never got, I didn't really know who it feels in case. Fine, fine, fine. It's cutting edge. The press release has some cool videos in it and has got our full attention. It's stated to release in August of 94. Right, before I do any more of these deals. Okay, the deadlines are quite some way away. Yeah, I'm not going to accept those. They're too big of jobs at the moment. Them jobs are way too big at the moment. Yikes. Um, right, should I promote this? I mean, we still got some way to go. I'm going to have to promote it, right? Right, we're promoting it. We're getting rid of the bugs. Can I also assign the support team on that to help me get rid of some bugs? I wonder if I can. I wonder if it's going to be beneficial. Probably not, but it's worth a little shot, isn't it? 
All right, educate the artist right now, and we'll go with audio. Why not? Get him to help out. So, fixing some items, all coming in, all cleaning up, all rocking and rolling. We're getting there. Uh, distribution then, we've still got a lot to go with the goals right now. I might have to get placed down a couple of additional um, sh Oh, we passed our fire inspection. That's really good. Right, we're going to place down a few additional machines right now for the printing side of things. So, room, printing. Um, there we go. So, when can I get the next large printer? In the year 2000. Fair enough. And if I do that to there... So I can only really go to here with this. So one, two, three, four, five. Five additional printers now being placed in. Which puts my capacity up to 306,000 a month. I'll take that. I'll take that, boys. Uh, deals. We still have some more printing right now. Hang on, what, what have we got remaining? Right, we'll try and see this month through and clear all of that backlog. That would be handy if I can clear all this. Or at least put like a huge dent into it, which we're kind of doing right now. And two more employees to educate. 2D for you. If they're not special, if they're not meant to be a programmer, I'll try and spread. Um, do you know? I don't even know what you're meant to be. You're an artist team. I'll try and get them to do multiple stuff. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Hmm. Yeah. All right. We're getting rid of bugs anyway. We've got rid of, or we've fixed 124 so far. And that will steadily increase, steadily climb. Again, we're putting big dents into how much we can produce a month with the boxes. More education coming in. Uh, another artist that wants educating. We'll go 3D. So, are we done with these distributions yet? Oh, so close. It'll be the next month that we should finish all up. So, this next month then, I think we're going to then step it up a gear uh, into releasing the Windows operating system. What do you guys reckon? Should today be the day? Should it now happen? I think it should. I think it should finally be that day. This just feels like it's taking forever. I, I think I just need to hire more couriers, don't I? Oh, there we go. That can help us out on the early morning rush. Right, it's March, April, May. I've got two... No, I said I said August, didn't I? Why am I thinking May? I don't know. Actually, let me check the calendar. So, in May... Hang on. Your releases. Okay, there's no computer operating systems coming out at all. So, I could actually release this. So, release Windows then. Right, there's probably a lot of bugs I've got to get out. Oh, it's not. Not really. So, Corby went out to make a tell me who falls in kids. We just love to review Windows, but uh, we just heard of it now. So, they're really, they're basically, they're only saying, like, we've only just heard of it. Who are they? We think falls in got to anyone about their product. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm going to bump in 50,000 on the marketing. Do you reckon that's enough or should I go 100,000? Is 100,000 too much? Um, I mean, I could sell this like hotcakes. I'm going to start with 50,000. 
for the marketing team. Uh, amount of copies. I'm not going to order any copies. We're going to print up to 100,000 copies. So always print and always make sure we got 100,000 copies, which might then mean I'm going to have to ease up a little bit right now on the old printing side of things. And I might have to call in a bunch of couriers towards the end of the day just to get the product shipped. We'll see what happens. So what have I got so far then? 75... You no, know, in store... Only 9,000 in storage? Ooh, damn. Right, manage staff. I could always order some copies. Now, this is very expensive. I've just called in four couriers. Just to come and grab a load of boxes for us. Now, how many do I have it in store? I have 8,000, 9,000 of windows. This is not going to be a great release, is it? I'm going to have to order some copies, unfortunately. I'm going to order 100,000. Just for the sake of having some in stock. Right, in stock versus in storage. There we go. So, we didn't quite manage to do a big dent of the marketing. Because it did end halfway through the day. Oh, wait, it's just been released. <laughs> 6.2 million in sales? And that was, I felt like that was a shambles of a release. I didn't do the marketing right. I didn't have enough copies. Well, at least I feel like I didn't have enough copies. Um, Windows, let me search it by type. No, let's search it by release date. Um, creativity, ordinary, quality, great. It's sparse on the marketing. 155 big ones. It's going to cost people to buy it. I sold 40,000 units. Jeez. Let's see what this day does for us then, this next month. All right, they're going to be pumping out those copies right now. Like there's no tomorrow. People are then in. We're going to get the marketing thrown in. As much as we can. We hired good marketers too, so they should be able to blitz through the 50,000 big ones we're spending on it. Uh, we've got over 100,000 units in stock of Windows right now. So that should be pretty good for us. And what is... Oh, software. Let me change it to operating systems. So active users, I'll search it by. Um, Windows is is here. 40,000 users. Obviously, there's going to be more on the next day. Look at how much more expensive some of these other ones are. I don't know if I should change the price. When I, Someone told me as well, when the bugs start to get a bit more crazy, uh, do an update. I'm, I'll probably do an update this next month or get one started. But this could mean I could create software solely for my operating system to kind of create my very own ecosystem to make sure nobody else because if i say i create an audio tool and it was on every operating system what's the point of buying my operating system if you want to use this audio tool basically i can turn myself i've, I've created windows but i can turn myself into apple <laughs> and only make my products work on, on on apple products right that next month we sold even more 7.4 million in sales right now I don't know if I should bump up the marketing to 100,000. See what happens. I don't know if I'll be able to even reach 100,000. Right, we should be able to get all of them products out and about as well. Um, right. Now, I noticed that there was going to be bugs in this. Um, port. You can't port an operating system. I don't know why that button's there. Update. If I bring it to the, the do stuffs. Is it too early for an update, you reckon? I'll get it underway. Day one patch. <laughs> Almost. Well, month two patch at this point. We'll see what we can do. So, wait for them to all arrive again. They'll start working on a beautiful little patch right now. 
and fix a load of bugs too, which would be a big, big help. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to spend on the marketing front. I don't really know if it will be the full 100,000, but it's a lot more than 50,000 on the previous month though, isn't it? Right, we have a couple of people we can now educate. Oh, we finally have something that's not programming. An artist! And then programming. 3D, let's go. So next month then, we didn't sell as many units. It's not a problem. But we did market it a whole lot more. Now, is this making a profit for us? It's actually made us 12 million in profit so far. Uh, the marketing is prominent, so you can't ignore Windows on the scene right now, boys. And we're going to try and get this. we got another deal. I don't want to do any print jobs. So now then, my next thing is, I now need to make Windows worth it. Because they're buying the operating system, and we're now pretty much relying on everybody making programs for the operating system, giving them a reason to use it. I mean, imagine all of a sudden, a new operating system came out in the real world. And you bought it, you installed it on your PC, so you're not using Mac OS, Linux, you're not using Windows, you're using a new operating system. But if no one's creating anything for it, it's pointless, right? And that's where your boy now steps in. So what I could then start to do is we've already created good audio tools. Do I then go ahead? No, not audio tools, sorry, a 2D editor. Do I then go ahead and build a 2D editor solely for Photoshop? Using my existing 2D editor framework, which gives me the ability to add a few bits and bobs in. Um, it's going to be a sequel to Photoshop 3. Right. It's not going to be in-house, not going to be subscription-based. Um, and to it's got everything that we've added in, in the previous one. I could add a few additional bits in like if I add it to do everything it would only take me two years unless I bring the tech levels to the modern era so if I brought the tech levels all the way up there we go that would take me three years to create there is a lot of wasted interest but I could create the best 2D editor on the market and then make it only work on my operating system, Windows. How do we feel about that? Hmm. It could be a good idea. It could be a bad idea. I'm going to call it Photoshop. I'm going to call it Photoshop X because then we know that this one was the one that we created for our program. Now, if I did a um, photo, no, 2D Editor Pro. So I'm creating a new framework as well, which includes everything here. So the next time I go and create a new one, I can base it off this. It has everything. I'm going to make it, because it's only on my operating system, I'm going to make it 80 big ones. Next page. Um, remove. Add. Windows. Solely Windows. <laughs> Auto balance. Next page. And it's all programming. And develop. Now, consumer reached 90,000. I know. I get this. But the whole purpose of trying to do it on my operating system is to get people to buy my operating system because they can only get the best software on this. I know it's a very small reach, but let's see what happens. <clears throat> let's see what is actually going to happen. So we can educate more and more people as time goes on. We're going to get those levels all up, boys. Now, I know you can also do 3D editors. I know there's a 3D editor available as well, but we're just going to go down this road. Now, I don't know whether to cancel the support for Photoshop 3 at this point. 
We're still making good money on Windows as it slowly gets more consumer reach. Uh, they're coming in for the next day right now, so they can start getting some headway on the iterations for Photoshop X. <laughs> but they're still doing a lot of work on this, so until they've completed this, they can't really fully take off on this. So programming, educate, 2D for the 2D editor. So again, it's about just slowly grinding out the months. Also, these are the vacation months as well, where half the workforce are gone on, on both months. I've got 60 million in the bank. This has actually turned out pretty well. The fact that we've created our very own operating system. So I need to get this out sooner rather than later. But they got to fix bugs for me to continue. It takes some sweet, sweet time. I might just release this now. So finish this up. All right. Nice little update there. We should hopefully reduce then the amount of issues that we have then coming in because we then technically fix some bugs. Um, next month, let's see how the support's able to handle all the the new queries now coming in. And also, all of our teams will be able to then focus on Photoshop X, which is now starting to move a whole lot quicker. So the 500 queued issues is slowly coming down pretty quick. They're on lunch break right now, and they're taking another stab at it. That's what I like to see, boys. I don't think they'll get down to zero today, but they'll take a big chunk out. We are halfway on the first iteration right now. We have a designer we can then sort out. So this is actually good, because now people are... I'm going to get slowly trained on the designing aspect. Burglars trying to loot our premises. They go home with nothing right now. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Now, designers, we have room for two more in our team. So I'm going to hire a designer. Not too bothered what they're specialized in, but we're going to get some good ones. So compatibility, great. And look at how good their designing levels are. We'll hire you. Your boy Rob, very good too. And a little bit of artist on the side as well. Let's hire him. So the next month then, those two additional designers coming in will play a big role in getting the iterations done for the next variation of Photoshop X. So I'm hoping we can get this done pretty quick. And we can release it for Windows. So, I mean, there is the option, if it doesn't go too well, I can always port it to other operating systems. And the mad thing is, it's going to be the best 2D editor on the market. So, there's always that going for us. But I'll, I want to give Windows a chance to have the best stuff for it. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Uh, so, next month then. Still making good cash. Still making very good cash right now. 500 support tokens coming in. Those designers are going to be rocking up right now, ready to throw in as much as they can into the iteration. Which they're putting big dents in. We have a couple of design upgrades we can apply right now. So we'll go system for you. Your boy Rocco right now. We'll go 3D for you. So we'll get him maxed out on the 3D side of it. Even though there's no 3D needed for Photoshop right now. I suppose every little helps. Every little helps, boys. So, they all go home again. Not a problem. And how is our Windows right now? So, it's widespread on the 30 million profits so far. How much, per, I mean, we've, we're slowly climbing the ranks with active users. We've got to try and beat Frame OS, obviously. But they are all over it. They've got so much stuff built on their operating system. That's a good point. Has anybody made anything for our operating system yet? Yes. People have either ported or built solely for us. More than likely they've ported. But we're starting to get people making stuff for the operating system. I mean, it's obvious. you got to do as much as you can to get on this. So, this is going to be very interesting, guys. 
It's going to be very, very interesting. I think we'll end it for now. And then come back next episode as we try and complete the iterations for Photoshop. And get it released on Windows and see where we can go from here. So all employees down to about 80%, except all and close, increasing by 10 grand. I know it's a lot of employees, but the averages is pretty good. So for now, guys, we're going to end it for here. I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I will see you all soon. So good. <laughs>